Hey everyone, this is Jacques. Recently Apple just released iPadOS 14, which added a lot of new functionality, especially to the Apple Pencil here. And one of the most notable things is a feature called Scribble. So let's take a look at it. Basically, you can start writing in any text field and uh, it's just gonna convert the handwriting into text. Of course, when I first heard about this, I was really excited to start writing in Japanese, but lo and behold, when I started looking into the available languages for Scribble, I only saw English and Chinese. All right, so we're gonna do a series of tests to see how well this new Scribble feature works uh, to do with kanji. And the first thing we're gonna try is something that obviously won't work, being hiragana and katakana. So let's try this out. Konnichiwa. Okay, ZHR58. That's obviously not right. Okay, uh, let's try katakana. Some Chinese characters that look pretty similar, but no go. So we already knew that wasn't gonna work, but now we're gonna try something a little different. These are wase kanji. So they are kanji that are used in Japanese, but are not in Chinese. So uh, let's try a couple of those. All right, okay, I'm actually shocked that that one worked. Uh, this kanji is used in hataraku uh, to work. And it's actually Wase Kanji, but it was recognized by the handwriting. Okay. Okay, next we're gonna try Komu no Ko, uh, meaning like to be crowded. All right, that one worked. Okay. Uh, next we're gonna try uh, like Nioi. Nio. This uh, means like to smell. Okay. Um, Try one more time for this one. Okay, my handwriting is in garbage. Okay, yeah, that one's not gonna work. The next one is going to be hatake. All right, that looks similar, but the right radical is different. Let's try sen. This means gland. Okay, yeah, that one was recognized. Let's try Toge, which means mountain pass. That was not so good, so I'll try one more time. Okay, that looks like it's not gonna be recognized. Uh, next, let's do Waku, meaning frame. Okay, so, let's see, we have the tree radical. So that one was recognized indeed. Uh, next we're gonna try hey, which means uh, wall. So that one was actually recognized. Excuse my poor, <laughs> my poor handwriting there. And now for the last one that's part of Joyo Kanji. This one is uh, shiboru, which means like to squeeze something. All right, so we have the hand plus this one here to make. Okay, so that one gave me some blue dots, but it did recognize it. All right, so this is actually quite surprising. Uh, it seems like these kanji here, which are technically uh, Japanese only kanji, they're not used in Chinese, are indeed recognized by scribble handwriting. Um, I was not expecting this, but that's kind of cool. Maybe that means most kanji that you write can be recognized. Uh, just using Scribble, so this is good news. And now we're gonna try some kanji that are definitely in both languages, so I'm just gonna try some basic ones. We have mountain, yama, uh, we have the day, of course, with the sun, um, the river. All right, maybe some numbers. So let's do sun, let's do yong, and let's do Let's do a couple uh, kanji compounds, so we can do multiple at once, no problem. Let's do Benkyo. Alright, 
right, thank you, no problem. Let's do Genki. Oh, okay. Let me try one more time. I have to be careful, there's a lot more kanji used in Chinese, so I think it might struggle to recognize some. Wow, I don't know how to write key, apparently. Hmm. Okay, so you might encounter some things like this. Um, I don't really know what this means, but be, be wary. So obviously this is not a foolproof method to write kanji uh, on your iPad, but I do think it's kind of cool, and I do hope that Apple will increase the functionality and have it include uh, native Japanese recognition. I think that would be really cool to have and uh, make it quite a bit easier because right now there's no uh, Apple made option to write handwrite Japanese. But anyway, that's all I wanted to share for this video. Uh, if you like the video, then please leave a like. I would appreciate it. And uh, if you wouldn't mind subscribing too, that would be awesome. I'll try to make more videos uh, in the near future. So, all right, peace out, guys, and I'll see you next time.